Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous lecture, we implemented the functionality to add new task in our application. In this lecture, we'll be talking about messages. So whenever we try to add new task, edit task or delete any task, we should get a pop up. That is, we should get a alert or message. So we'll be talking about that. Now here, if I jump back to my view, once I save my form, I should add a message that my task has been added in the application or in the list successfully. So all I have to do is first I need to import my message class. So all you have to do is from Django contrib import messages. And here you need to add messages dot success and then you need to pass two parameter. The first one will be your request and the second one will be your message. So I would add a message new task added. This looks fine. Now here, if I'm going to render to any other page, I can just access this message directly. So all I have to do is on my to-do list page, I just need to access that message. So let us print that message as the top. So that would be above my form and I would be selecting a message type. So before that, let me print a sample message. To access all the messages, I need to use a for loop so I would be selecting each message in my messages. Don't forget to use your and for to end your loop and then print each message individually. Let me try this out. Here I've added a new task and this is the message that I've got and it's working perfectly fine. All I have to do is just print this message with an alert tag. So there are different alert tag available. You can select any one of them. Uh, blue would be fine or maybe green. Let me select this blue one. So that is regarding the info one. Copy this one and all I have to do is just paste that in between here. Let me just replace this middle content with my message. And if I go here, go to my to-do list, Add a new task. Here I got a new notification. This looks fine, but how to remove this one? So I should get a cross button or something like close or remove something to remove this notification. That we will be doing in the next lecture. I hope this lecture was informative for you to understand this part. This was quite short and easy. All you have to do is import your messages Add a message method after you verify and save your form and then all you have to do is just print this one. Before ending this lecture, what we have to do is we also need to add a restriction that is a filter. So whenever I am going to load this page even on get method, this is going to be checked. So I should use a if condition that if there is any message, I should read this content. Otherwise, I should just skip this one. So what I can do is I can add a if condition and check if there is any messages available or not. So whenever I do even a get request, this page actually load this content behind the scene. All we can do is add a if condition and check if this message is available or not. Now this looks fine. Now whenever we are going to load this page, they will check if there is any value inside this message or not. If there is any value, they are going to run this loop. If not, they are going to skip this one. Also, same we should follow with this all task. If there is any value with all task, I should go inside this loop. Otherwise, I can skip that. So at currently, we have at least 5, 6 tasks, 10 tasks. But what if there is no task added? So we can just add a condition that if there is no task, just skip this condition. So let me add my if condition for all task. Now this looks fine. So whenever we are going to load this page, if this is not available, that means if there is no task available, we are going to skip this content. And this is the best option to actually validate your content. I hope this lecture was helpful. In the next lecture, let us add a close option for our notification. Thank you for following this lecture. See you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to a quick lecture. In this lecture, we are going to just do a simple task. We are going to add a cross button that is a close option 
for our message or you can call it as notification. So all you have to do is just jump onto bootstrap and search for alerts. Just scroll down a bit. You will get this option. So earlier we were checking about different alert option that is alert variation. If you scroll down a bit, you will also get a alert variation with a cross option and this works perfectly fine. So all you have to do is just after your message, you just need to copy this button. And let me add this button in my code. Remember to add this button before your div. Let me set indentation and this looks fine. I also need to add a class here. Just copy this class. Yep, that's done. So all you have to do is just add the close button and then you need to add this class. This looks fine. Let me add demo content here and check if I can dismiss my notification or not. And if I add new task. Yep, I got my notification that is alert. And if I dismiss this one, yeah, this is working fine. And that's all for this lecture. I hope this was easy. From the further lectures, let us talk about this delete button, this edit button and also how to undo this. That means if we have completed any task, I just want to make this not completed. You also need to talk about this. So let us focus on this delete and edit functionality and then improve our application. That's all for this lecture. See you in the next one.